Welcome to CAT class. Now, this is exercise number 10 B. This is the second part of exercise number 10. So, here we can see that we have to make this model and then draw the front view, top view and left side view of course. So, now here if you look from this side, what are the things you see? You will see this rectangle and then what else you will see? You will see this piece. Okay. Now, let us try to do this one separately. First, let us try to draw let us just go over here, go to AutoCAD, let us close our, let us open a new drawing, ok. So, let me close, uh, let me come here. Now, what I have to do now, LIMITS limits. So, how much limits uh, do I need? Let me just check here, what is the size? 60 and height is around 50. Let me take 100 by 100, ok. Limits, first one is 0, 0, second one is 100, comma, 100 enter ok now what is the next job now again let me see it yeah 100 comma 100 so now let me do z enter e enter so now i have fixed it now what i will do now i will just go to this put it to home and then i will change it to front view ok i have changed it to front view the color has changed now i will make it realistic now let me draw the heights so, what is the height here? This is 12. 12 plus 36. 12 plus 36 is how much? 48. Okay. And this is how much? This is 60. 60, 48, 12. Okay. Now, I have 6. This is, let me fix the ortho. This is 60. Then I will go up 48. Then I will come like this 12. Enter. Then I will simply say C. C means it will go and close it. Okay. So now I have prepared this one. <coughs> now what I will do now? I will just change my direction. Okay. Now what direction I will change? I will go to southwest view so it is there now so what i will do now i will just do press pull see here what is the drawing i need a thickness of 10 i need a thickness of 10 i need two pieces okay i will prepare them no problems now i will just go here press pull use this go out how much 10 enter okay and then again i will escape press escape now i will move this one out i will move this one out like this let it be there now again I will use press pull for this. I move by another how much? 10. Enter. Escape. So I will move this one also out. Move this one out. Okay. Now I have got this rectangle. I mean uh, this piece. So what I will do now because in this drawing what does he say? From the top I have to come down by how much? 28. Then again I have got a rectangular prism here. Okay. So, what I will do is, I will just go here, I will just offset through how much? Offset through which line? This line, isn't it? I will just come down like this. By how much I should come down? I should come down by uh, 28, isn't it? Let me just see it. Yes, 28. Okay, I will come down by how much? 28. Okay. Escape. So, I have this line. So, what I will do? I will extend this line. Here you have trim. Open this trim. You see this extend? You will find this extend. Just click on this one. So, it will extend. In your AutoCAD 2018, what you have to do is you have to select the boundary first. Then you have to do the extension. Okay. Now, I will press escape. So, what I will do now? I will draw a line from where? From the end point of this. I will come down remove the midpoint all that stuff you remove it okay remove midpoint we don't need midpoint understand so just come down like this that's it now what are the things i don't need just go here change it to trim no need of this one out 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 so then this is also not needed enter now this stuff is not needed out Okay, now I have done this one, finish. So, I have this. So, how much is the thickness of this one? The thickness of this one in the middle, how much? I don't know. Let us see. From here to here, it is 30. 
this is 10 this is 10 so means this should also be 10 so now what i will do press pull by how much 10 enter escape now so what i will do now i will move it out now i will move this one out now what i have got i have got this square i will just have I mean, a rectangle i will get rid of this one okay now everything is ready with me now what i should do now i will just move this piece enter from where from this corner to this corner so it's already there now the next piece select this one move enter from which point from this point to this end point enter okay now see everything is ready with you now what i should do now i should join them together okay i will make union a union this one this one and this one okay enter see now it all became a single piece now okay now we have some more work left i have to prepare this what is this length 60 the height is 12 and this is 8 okay 60 by 8 and 12 now where is your xy plane your xy plane is here see your x is here your y is here is it not remember you have to draw only in xy plane now go here click the line this is how much 60 enter what is the height let us just go and check the height is 12 12 again come like this 60 and then close now what you need to do press pull sorry again make the front view here let it be ready Height is how much? Height is 12. Come like this, 60. Then close. Okay. Now I will just go back again to southwest isometric. Now I will make press pull. How much? 8. Enter. Now I will move this one out. Now I, I will make one more press pull. How much? 8. Escape. I will move this also out. Now do you need the center one? This uh, rectangle I don't need this. I will just delete it. Okay. Now see here what I will do now. I will move this item. Enter from where? From this corner to the back side. See there? I just take it there. Then again, move this one, enter from which corner? From the inside corner to this corner. Okay. Now again, I will make union. Union between what? This piece, this piece, and this piece. Okay. Make enter. Go here, change it to your hidden view. See here, beautifully, you see your drawing. Your drawing is completely ready now. But it is in which direction? This is exactly in the direction which is shown here. So this is my front view. Okay. Now I will go to layout view. Delete everything. I don't need any of these things. Enter. Now I will go here. Change to third angle projection. Then select the base from AutoCAD. See here beautifully it is coming. I just click here press enter key go up only click then come here only click go up click now press enter key. now your complete drawing is ready now okay now now we can completely do the dimensions very comfortably please create a new layer clear click on layer properties create a new layer call it as dimension dimension go and give whichever color you like let us say we will give which color blue color 
okay let's close this one and go and change here see it is showing zero but what i want i want dim here okay so that when i do it will all be in the proper color go to annotate click on the size from where from here to here it is standard size 60 and then from here to here it is how much 38 okay and then what else is there now come to the front in the front from here to here it is how much 48 or rather you can give the way he has given let me just go delete this 48 I don't need it I will do it the way he has done the dimensioning from where from here to here he gives me 12 use continuous dimensions so that you have in the same line see 36 what else is there now you have one more dimension from here to here he gives me how much 28 see there I will shift it little bit make it little big dimension from where from here to here little I will keep it here okay now what else is there this dimension from where from here to here 60 now the height here 12 and now what else between this point and this point it is 10 between this point and this point it is 10 between this point and this point he puts it as 30 okay and what else is there between this point and this point it is 8 he shows us there so you have all the dimensions ready with you see here everything is there to do the drawing okay thank you very much for watching this video